Christmas in August? I'm getting as bad as the shops. Hey guys, me, host Super Zoro, thank you very much for tuning in. So guys, I've got some toy news to share with you. I want to go through all the toy advent calendars that are available for this year, for this Christmas 2020. So, <laughs> it's going to be a list of all the different ones from Lego and Funko and everything in between. There's some great ones on here and there's some good uh, you know, collector friendly ones this year I think. And there's some even some new surprise ones which I'm quite excited to see. So without further ado, let's roll on with Christmas! Coming up first, it's Mini Racers. These are metal toy cars from Disney's Pixar Cars. There's 24 days of holiday cheer. And there's going to be all different cars in there, all miniatures that you're going to be able to race around the Christmas tree. <laughs> all Christmas long. It includes Lightning McQueen and all the other favourites, including Mater. And um, there's a couple of the good cars on there that I recognise that I can't quite remember the names of. It's the race for the Piston Cup at Christmas. And like I said, there's 24 days to open on that calendar. So that looks like a lot of fun. It's a Disney calendar, and you know what? Disney cars, if it's going to be metal die-cast cars in there, I'm not sure how big they are. doesn't give us any form of scale or anything like that, but they look, they look pretty decent on the front cover, so hopefully that'll be a decent calendar to get this year, especially if you've got little ones in the, fam in the family. I can't speak. Next up is a Funko one. This is a random one, I thought, this year. But hey-ho, it's different. It's Dragon Ball Z for all those Dragon Ball Z fans out there, or anime fans. 24 days again of Funko Adventure, and you can get Son Goku and many others from the Dragon Ball Z series. <laughs> um, I'm not massive on Dragon Ball Z. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Sorry. But... Um, there's a lot of characters that could look very cool in that pint-sized hero format. And if you wanted to, to get a bunch of them, you know, this is a good way of doing it. These calendars are usually pro pro approximately about 40 quid. On Amazon right now, they are a little bit more expensive, but you are guaranteeing one. Um, Smiths usually stock these as well, the Funko ones, and so maybe check out your local Smith store if you're in the UK. But either way, the Dragon Ball Z calendar lo looks like it could be a lot of fun this year. My first in the surprise one, and it is by Jax, and this is Elf. So you remember when they made the film Elf, and then they made the animated adventure version of Elf? Well, this is based kind of on the animated one, um, and it's got all of the funky characters from the Elf movie, um, all represented in sort of a cartoony format. It looks very cool. It's got the big snowman on there. It's got the, um, the polar bears, and it's even got uh, Papa Elf, uh, Buddy himself, uh, his girlfriend and is it something the narwhal if I remember rightly and it's even they've even got the star manager there dressed as Santa so that looks like a lot of fun and again it's something different you don't always see these kind of calendars I think this one is more friendly for like people my age I wouldn't say a kid wouldn't want that really that's definitely made for the adult collector in my opinion and that would be a lot of fun. That That's something I would actually keep and put away and bring out every Christmas and put back out because it's a nice little display and you don't always see Buddy the Elf merchandise. So that's a great way of getting a bit of Will Ferrell you know, merchandise. And also it's something unique and different that you don't see all the time. So that's a good one. I think that's a winner for this year. My second one, which I'm definitely ordering this year, it's the Gremlins calendar. So each and every single day you open a door and you get a new Gremlin or Magwai. Uh, there is also slime included in this one and also eggs that they hatch from. And it recreates the cinema scene so you can place them on the seats and stuff and recreate that, that cinema scene. There are a couple of holiday themed ones including a gizmo with his little Christmas hat and of course the um, gremlin with the Christmas hat as well. You can also get Stripe and many of the others, char you know, other characters from the movie. It looks a lot of fun. The only character that I can't see but I'm hoping is in the calendar and they're just not showing it is that is the gremlins with the glasses that some New York, New York because that was amazing. But either way, Gremlins, is it Halloween? Is it Christmas? It's in the middle. It's a lot of fun. Pick up this calendar this Christmas light like me and have some Gremlins fun. The next Funko one this year is going to be another Wizarding World of Harry Potter one, 24 days again. And these are the pint-sized heroes based on Harry Potter. L looks to be based upon the latter movies rather than the early ones this time around. Um, you can tell that from the outfits that they're wearing. It's definitely, I uh, would say... It's definitely the um, Half-Blood Prince onwards, I want to say here. There's a lot of Harry in civilian clothing, let, let's put it that way. 
Um, there's also a nice one of um, Hagrid pulling the, the big Christmas tree and stuff like that. So that could be a good calendar as well for this year. They haven't given as many spoilers as to what characters are in it this time around. I know like, normally they show the open calendar with loads of figures, but I haven't looked at that picture as I don't want to spoil it. Um, I think these are good when they're surprises. Unless it's something that's brand new and we need to look at it. This is like, you know, it's tried and tested is the Funko Pop ones. You know it's going to be good in value and it's going to be good pops inside. These these little pocket pop figures, the Pine Size Heroes, they go for about three or four quid each. So, I mean, you're getting a full set of 24 of them um, for about 40 quid. So, I think that's a reasonable, you know, value there. And it's definitely a set that I, that I think either me or Miss Super Soul will, will be getting for this Christmas. Moving on to Lego, but staying with the Harry Potter theme, it's the Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar for this year, set number 75981. And it seems to be based upon the Yule Ball, which a lot of people on the internet have slightly got upset about when this got announced. Obviously, they released a set the other year, which I believe was the... Oh, the something Tower, and it had basically the Yule Ball, and it had a lot of these exclusive characters in it. So it's the fact that they've now released those characters with a, um, a cheaper set is what I think is upsetting people. As these calendar sets from Lego usually go for about 24 to 30 pounds. More, more on the 25 side usually. Unless you're picking it up pretty late and you're getting it online. <clears throat> but the Lego Harry Potter advent set will be available at your local Lego store come this September. So definitely go ahead and grab one. It's, I've, now, I've now noticed that they have changed the logo slightly. It does still say Harry Potter, but if you look at the bottom right corner, I've noticed it's starting to say the Wizarding World on there now as well. Um, not sure what that indicates for the future, but I haven't seen that very often on the sets. Maybe it's because I'm new to the Harry Potter Lego sets, but that Wizarding World logo, is that always there? I think it has been on the more recent set, but I don't remember it from the original sets back in the day. Anyway, your ball set, pick it up. Now you guys saw me uh, un unbox this one last year and they've released a brand new one for this year. It's the Micro Force Star Wars set. 24 days of little Micro Force goodness. The Micro Force figures you can pick up usually at Smith's or used to be at Toys R Us for like two and three quid. You get a couple of characters inside a blind bag. This is 24 of them for about 30 quid in this set. And you get four exclusive ones that you can't get anywhere else that are Christmas themed. Last year, if you remember, we did get um, a... Pog with the Christmas hat on, and I think we got a Yoda with the Christmas hat on. This time around, you're getting BB-8 with the thumbs up lighter, and you're also going to be getting an Ewok and an R2-D2 with those Christmas hats on. It looks a lot of fun again. It's 24 days of of Christmas madness with Microforce. What more do you want? I think that's a good set. I enjoyed unboxing mine the other year. If you haven't seen those reviews, go back and check them out. Uh, I've got a playlist on here with all 24 days, and uh, yeah, so definitely it's a calendar that I recommend that one. Another calendar that I've got on pre-order, because I can't decide whether I want Gremlins or this one, it's the Nightmare Before Christmas 24 uh, Pocket Pops Advent Calendar from Funko. I can't decide which I want more. Do I want do I want Jack Skellington and some fun with Nightmare Before Christmas, or do I want Gremlins? I think Gremlins is going to win, but that Nightmare Before Christmas one does still look good. I might end up buying both. <laughs> Either way, it's a lot of fun. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas Advent Calendar again. It includes Santa Jack in there, along with regular Santa Claus, regular Jack and Sally, and I'm sure many, many more. I'm hoping they've got Lock, Shock and Barrel in there, because they are my favourites, along with Oogie Boogie. Let's hope they also introduce other things like the Easter Bunny in the bag and stuff like that, because there's some really cool characters that never get much rec you know, much light uh, in Nightmare Before Christmas because of the main characters, like the vampires, the witches. There's some really cool characters, and even the, the jazz band that, stay that plays outside Jack's house, they would make amazing little pop figures. You know, if they, if they made regular-sized pops of those, I would buy the whole band. <laughs> anyway, Nightmare Before, before Christmas. <sighs> Can't wait for it. What's this? What's this? Pixar are releasing a good calendar this year. This is the Pixar Minis Advent Calendar. This looks again to be a lot of fun. It's including even the newer films, which include... Um, uh, uh, what's that film called? We've got The Incredibles. We've got Monsters, Inc. I'm stalling. We've got Wally. -E, we've got um, Nemo and Dory. And then we've got the two boys from that new Christmas... That, no, it's not Christmas, but that new film... Mmm. Lynn, what's that new bloody Disney film called? What's that new Disney film called? The one with the two blue boys that are like elves or something. What? Onward. That's the one. And then, of course, we've got the... Is it 
Tin Soldier Boy or something, the little jazz, little little soldier boy. I'm gonna go. But yeah, Pixar calendar coming up. I like the little themed stockings as well. They look pretty cool. I hope they're included inside. That would be pretty awesome. If you got little miniature stockings too, that'd be awesome. But yeah, those miniature minis, they look pretty cute. We did get the minis and review them for Toy Story 4, so maybe they're going to be about the same size. If they were, they were about this big, which is about the same as the Pint Size Heroes. I haven't seen this online yet. I don't know a price for this bad boy. It was a little preview that I got sent via email from Mattel. So very excited to see that calendar too. Now this one also piqued my attention. It's the Playmobil calendar for this year and it's Back to the Future. Not a Christmas theme by any means, but it is Marty McFly, Biff Tannen, and all your favourite characters from Twins Pine Mall of 1985 to 1955. And it's the moment that, that the car goes back in time, um, well, back to the future. <laughs> and basically Doc Brown gets, ele gets electrocuted on the clock tower. It's a very cool calendar and it comes with the whole diorama, you, the, the actual box I believe is gonna play is gonna be the town building and it just looks a very cool set especially if you've picked up the DeLorean like I've got behind me I'm hoping I can contact Playmobil and maybe see if they want to send us a copy of this for review because that would make an amazing calendar to review this year so see if I can swindle that for the channel but we'll see I hope we can Playmobil is awesome and I love that calendar it's definitely worth picking up either way Sticking with Playmobil, I thought it's only fair to put in their regular advent calendar. <coughs> now this one is the Christmas themed one, it's their usual advent calendar as they call it. Um, and it's basically based on um, Christmas and Santa and all the usual Christmas tri you know, trimmings and trappings. So not much to say about, about this one, it's not really my cup of tea, but I thought I'd include it in the list as it does look very nice and I think a lot of younger kids would like this. Maybe some adult collect your collectors to get some uh, some... Christmas Playmobil, I don't know, but either way, it's a nice set. Another cool calendar for this year, guys, and I've got some pictures to show you. This is the Pokemon Holidays calendar. I haven't seen this before in this style. I've seen the trading card calendar before, where you get a pack of cards every day. That's in, you know, that's in interesting. But this one includes 18 figures and some accessories, <coughs> making up 24 overall. Yes, yeah, five, so eight and five. I can't do maths. Eighteen and five. <laughs> five accessories. <laughs> right, it's the Happy Holidays calendar. It's got Pikachu on the front, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, your original Kanto favourites. And of course, if we look on the inside, you can see that there's many little characters here, all like a little bit on the shinier side, should we say? <coughs> they have their own Christmas tree and presents and sleighs, and it's a nice Pokemon cr Christmas. You've got Meowth there. You've got Cubone, Eevee. Uh, Growlithe, Jigglypuff, um, the Alolan version of Vulpix, um, Munchlax, Apom, Piplup. Is that, is that them all? I think I've got them all. Oh, and Ditto. Yeah, I think I've named them all. Woo! Either way, very cool set. Um, one, one that I think Superstar Junior might even like, you know? It's a nice little play set. She has been playing with some of the little Pokemon minis before. So, I mean, she might even like that set because they are little cute figures, so... That's definitely one she might want. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> but yeah, it's definitely a set that I'll be picking up. Maybe. I could be tempted. I do like Pokemon. At this rate, I'm going to have like 50 calendars to open this year. Because there's also the Star Wars Lego one, which looks pretty decent this year. This is the Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars calendar. And it includes a seven-letter code to unlock a character in the Skywalker Saga game. So you can actually play the figures in the Skywalker game. Please tell me it is that Darth Vader with the Christmas jumper on it. If he's playable in the game, that's amazing. There's even a Poe a po Dameron with a BB-8 jumper on as well. That's cool. Little Dio there has got a little Christmas hat on. That's a cool set this year. I kind of like how this one looks. Improved heavily on the last year, especially with that special code. <gasps> Darth Vader's on top of the box. I think Darth Vader is the code. Oh, every box comes with a seven letter code to unlock a character in the game. Please let it be that Darth Vader in the Christmas jumper, unlockable in the game. That would be amazing. Either way, a great Christmas set and definitely one I might get. I'm going to have like six calendars to open, guys. So guys, what are your thoughts on all these Christmas calendars? Are you excited for Christmas? Which one are you going to be picking up? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, then please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps us out, and it helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, I'm your host, Supersonal, and I'll see you 
in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!